So hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Tech Viper. So today in this video we will see how to create this animation using Figma. But before that I want you guys to please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you get notified with all the updates. Without wasting time let's see how to create this. So you can see we are inside the Figma project now. So first of all we will drop a frame by pressing A on our keyboard and we will select MacBook Air from here because I am using MacBook Air. So now we got the frame we want a menu section over here in the top so for that what we will do we will press F on our keyboard and we will create something like this let's give it a height of 80 for now perfect inside we let's name it as uh, tag by per fashion as you can see it's very let's change the font to enter and let's take it to 14 perfect let's press T on our keyboard and we will name something like paper fashion perfect now we, we will change it to bold or medium you can take whatever I'm taking semi bold that's perfect for me let's name it home then products and then comes more and the last section we need is the contacts perfect let's select this tree and put it inside an auto frame layout let's give it a gap of 40 for now take it to the middle selecting this whole frame we will put it inside an auto frame layout for now perfect let's have a hug contents let's change it to auto perfect and I want to give an horizontal padding of somewhat 60 perfect now what we can do just selecting this frame let's take it outside the auto frame layout now select this one this part and change it to the middle perfect it's looking great now let's select this part go over here go to plugins and widgets and search for classify select on it click over here click next then select this one I don't want any stroke over here so I will change it to zero blur or whatever the color you want you can change it from here now you click on classify done you are not able to see anything now because uh, there is no background of, over here so once we add background or any images you will get to see so we got something like this perfect now what we want we want any, some text over here so how we can do that let's press T on our keyboard and let's write something like where fashion meets technology perfect by pressing k let's increase the size somewhat like this center align it let's go to v over here and change this font to somewhat i'm using jersey 25 I want to increase the size a little bit more so what how much you want it totally depends upon you see we got something like that now it seems very blank right so we need some photos over here so let's do something let's press F on our keyboard and then let's drop a frame like this let's select this one duplicate it again and just increase this height a bit same we will duplicate it again we will increase this height a bit yeah now just duplicate those and place it on the right side perfect now by selecting this we will go over here again we will select unsplash plugin here we will search for model like we can take this one then select this one 
let's take this one let's select this one you can take this one let's take main model let's take this one let's select this one Then you can take this one. Perfect. Great. Now select all. Put it inside auto frame layout. Give it a gap of 20. Perfect. Now selecting it, we will bring it over here. By pressing K, we will increase the size to match with the frame. We can just align it. Perfect. So it's something like that now. So now what we need uh, the main animation part. What is the main animation part? Like two images will be there and the two images will go outward when we will be scrolling or dragging it over. So we want to create this animation. How we can do it? It's simple. We will click this whole frame. Go design section, click on layout grids, from here select column, let's change it to 2 and from here gutter, let's change it to 0, perfect. Now before that, let's lock everything else for a moment, now press F on your keyboard. And create such frame and duplicate it again. You can just align it perfectly by clicking those. Done. Now let's select this one. Go over here again. Go to Unsplash. Search for model. And here let's put this one. Select over here again. Let's take some man model and let's select this one. Perfect. It's looking great. You can just change or you can just align it perfectly. You want to feel it's there, so it's perfect. Now what we can do, this one, we can take it to the top by pressing the square brackets. You can play along with it. Now it seems great, right? Now what we will do, we will duplicate it. And for a moment, we will unlock everything now and we will hide these frames perfect let it be something like that for now let's select this one we are not touching it now currently so we will select this one we will select this one this frame and by clicking over it holding space and then shift we will drag it something like that Same for this one, clicking over it, holding space and then shift. We'll take it something like that. Perfect. I want to take a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. This one also. So these are locked, let's unlock those. By selecting this and by selecting this board. But before that, let's do one thing. Let's select this one. 
and click over frame selection let's take it something like that you can see it's something like that now the frame is selected it's in the middle we'll go to prototype over here and from here we will select horizontal scrolling perfect now let's select both and put it inside auto frame layout now we will select this one copy it fully let's delete those and paste it over here perfect let's go to design now and in the same way by clicking over it holding space and shift we will drag it downward perfect let's go over here now so something like this came over now we will select this whole macbook frame the first frame go to prototype and we collect to this one two on drag smart animate and the curve will be slow now let's run it So it's something like that. Then we can just scroll it over here. So I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please do subscribe as I told you guys. I need your support. Till then, take care. I will see you in the next video.